Hi guys, my name is Diana Frankhauser with the Hood School of Acting, and the question becomes, what benefits can you get from the Meisner technique? And the thing that I know that I've at least taken away the most um, is learning, or I guess I should say relearning, how to trust your instincts. Um, I know, at least for me, I know Kurt, you also talked about this a little bit, but I know for me that I have a tendency to overthink uh, and question things a lot, and I could I could live in script analysis and just be very, very content there. But the deal is, what we're doing in Meissner is telling us that even though you do all this homework at a certain point, you have to let go of it and be reacting to what's happening in front of you. And so many actors get bogged down in the text and in the blocking. And unfortunately, if you just live within the text, you're forgetting the vital element of humanity is this communication feedback loop, right? And these characters don't know what's going to happen to them. We as actors absolutely know how the end of the film might happen. We might know how the end of the script is going to work. If anything, bare minimum, we know at least how the scene is going to end when we show up on set. And although we as actors know that, this character is experiencing something for the very first time. Uh, so therefore, we have to, as actors, have to relearn that we can't assume anything. We really can't. And that's where that sense of spontaneity really comes from, is we are responding to something that's happening outside of ourselves. And as long as we're able to trust that, that something is going to happen if we just, we've done our homework, we know our lines, and trusting and taking that leap that something is going to happen then ultimately, organically, it's going to be feeling a lot like how that character is potentially experiencing the situation for the first time. And that's what we love to watch. Um, Sanford Meisner was a firm believer that talent is having the ability to react with the instinctual. Um, and it, it's so simple, the repetition, but it really forces you to take a step back and recognize, are you listening and responding to something that's happening outside of yourself? Or are you assuming you know how this person is going to respond before that moment has even happened? And it's forcing you into the present, but also it's so cool to see somebody genuinely connect with somebody outside of themselves. And, and oh, it's just, it's, it's kind of like a really magical moment, especially for me. I've seen so many different sets of even just first day repetition, but that is the thing that really we love to consume as an audience um so yeah i i would say for me instinct trusting your instinct and just something's gonna happen you just gotta trust it and that's oh i just love that stuff <laughs>